We remade this fire engineering video about peak roof collapse because operating on a peak roof remains an underestimated, dangerous firefighting tactic that kills and injures firefighters each year. Roof collapse and falls from peak roofs are two of the dangers. It is much more dangerous to perform roof ventilation on a peak roof than on a flat roof. For example, firefighters must climb a ladder to get to the peak roof, then transfer from the ground ladder to the roof ladder carrying tools and equipment. Access to a flat roof can sometimes easily be attained by walking up the stairs of an adjoining building to the roof and crossing over. And firefighters working on a peak roof must do acrobatic acts of climbing and balancing on a, an uneven roof surface. And there's no wall around a peak roof. If a firefighter loses balance, there's no parapet to stop the fall. The firefighter will slide or roll down the roof and drop 20 or 30 feet to the ground. And because a peak roof sheds rainwater and snow, it prevents a weight buildup. Builders sometimes reason the load-bearing capacity of a peak roof can be less than a flat roof. If you as a fire officer view this fire engineering DVD about peak roof collapse with your firefighters and cover the questions for discussion posted at the end of the program and correctly answer the multiple choice quiz in the booklets, the chances of firefighters in your command being killed or injured by a peak roof collapse or a fall from a peak roof can be reduced. Dayton, Ohio. Firefighter seriously injured in fall from peaked roof. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Fire captain killed when peaked roof rafters collapse. Yonkers, New York. Fire lieutenant killed in collapse of peaked roof deck. Los Angeles, California. Firefighter killed when tile peaked roof collapses. You've just learned what can happen when a peak roof collapses or if a firefighter falls from a peak roof. I'm Vince Dunn, Deputy Chief New York City Fire Department. These tragedies continue to happen all too frequently, and we have to prevent them. In the past, the dangers of peak roofs were greatly underestimated, but new research has alerted us to the truth. A peaked roof is one of the most hazardous places for a firefighter to operate. We investigated peaked roof accidents where firefighters have died. We conducted analysis of these collapse sites, and we interviewed injured firefighters. We were able to determine the causes of these tragedies, and as a result, we're recommending safer operating procedures when working on peaked roofs. You may never have to face this challenge, but if you do, you better be prepared. This videotape is designed to save your life. It shows for the first time exactly why peak roofs collapse during fires, how firefighters can fall from peak roofs, and what you can do to assure your firefighting survival. Later in this series, we'll talk in detail about how truss roofs and flat roofs collapse. But we're starting with peak roof collapse in this video because most fires occur in residential buildings and most residential buildings have peaked roofs. The most common types of peaked roofs are gable, hip, gambrel, mansard, and shed. All present the same hazards, the collapse of roof rafters, roof decks, and shingles, and falls due to sloping or slippery peaked roof surfaces.